If you do go on to enjoy today's video, please consider liking it because I'm terrible at FIFA and I need all the self-esteem I can get. If you're interested in football shirts, football boots or anything football related, go check out my Depop. The link for that is also down below. And if you do need any coins, head over to u7buystore.com. Use the code TVM at checkout for a discount. The link is in the description. What is going on guys, Tim here, welcome back to a brand new episode of The Road to Glory, the first outing for Kevin De Bruyne and Lionel Messi in the starting 11, um, qualifying for the weekend league, I predicted that this week I would struggle, to be honest, I thought this week I would fail, because it it's a, not a given, but it was one of those where you've just packed one massive upgrade in Lionel Messi and now you've got Kevin De Bruyne in the team as well who may or may not be an upgrade over Bernardo Silva by the way because you've got that massive upgrade you should be qualifying quite easily that was the that was the way I thought people would think about it and it was hard I, I wouldn't say it was harder than it normally is it went exactly how qualifying goes for me I either lose a couple or win a couple however it goes and then I sort of work out that I'm now four and four with one game left and I need to win my last game and that's exactly how it went I, I probably deserve to lose the games I, I lost I don't think I, I, I lost against someone I should have beaten it was uh, a couple of them were you know those type of games where on another day I could have won one of those type of things it didn't really make a blind bit of difference because thankfully I qualified. There was a goal I scored. In fact, there were two goals I scored. And this was one of them. Bang. Hakimi from that distance. It looks impressive as hell. But I saw it on Twitter yesterday. From that angle, not obviously with any player, but from that angle, finesse shots, or time finesse shots in particular, seem to really, really work. You know, they, they nerfed them, they patched them and all the rest of it. But you can still do them from certain angles. And that angle is an all but guaranteed goal. So I guess it's broken. But uh, I only scored two of them in qualifying. Uh, one of them was with Hakimi. And the other one was with, of course, Lionel Messi. Now, Lionel Messi's one wasn't timed. It was just an unreal effort. You'll see it. It's a corner routine from the right hand side I guess you could say this was tactical went in with Mane and quick thinking I changed direction hoping to draw a slide tackle I know it sounds like I'm making it up I genuinely tried it and it worked he got red carded and then Messi popped up with a free kick and I haven't scored a free kick since the very first week of FIFA where I had Ronaldo who is obviously a very good free kick taker I haven't had a good free kick taker in my team until now and Lionel Messi is that good free kick taker. He's hit the bar twice this weekend. Or not even it's not even a weekend. It's it's Wednesday. He's hit the bar twice this qualifying. And he scored one. So it's nice to have a good free kick taker in there. I just need a right foot uh, free kick taker now, and I'm I'm golden. We are working toward that, of course, though, because we do have an icon that's gonna come into the team. This guy was decent. I was really lucky, actually, that he got uh, Rafael Varane sent off because had he not had him sent off, I fully believe I would have lost it. Uh, we managed to get a, a goal there with Carrasco, cut up the goalkeeper. He was really under the cosh because of that, um, that red card. I was all over him, but I honestly don't think I would have been had he not got it. So I am grateful that he got the red card and I'm I'm lucky really in a way but also I did play for it I didn't expect him to get a red card I wanted a free kick or a penalty but um yeah anyway this is the goal Lionel Messi from the corner runs to the edge bang that is outrageous and that's exactly what Lionel Messi brings but it's also what that um shooting mechanic from that corner brings as well should have done a little bit better there maybe played an extra pass rather than gone for goal uh, Gabriel Jesus has been as good as he always has been. Kevin De Bruyne is actually quite good. He switched position after the first game. Messi up front and De Bruyne as a cam wasn't working. So Messi played cam for the entire qualifying. And Kevin De Bruyne, well, apart from one game. So for eight games, Messi played cam. Mane and Gabriel Jesus were up front. Hakimi went left mid. And then Kevin De Bruyne went right mid. Now, obviously... He'll be replaced soon by someone. 
And as a right mid, it's odd. It's going to be glorious. I cannot wait to get icon David Beckham done. Uh, Messi threw on goal here. Really good finish with that left foot. Love him in Cam. He's really, really good from Cam. He has scored more goals than my strikers have. Salah equalised. This was the last game I had. I, I lost and I left the um, the penultimate game 2-0. Uh, I left it at half time. In fact, I think he went 3-0 I left. He was just far too good. He was holding the ball really well. I couldn't get it off him. This was pressure. I threw everyone forward, pressurised him. He couldn't go anywhere, didn't know what to do. We nicked it off him and scored. And that is ultimately what won us the game. And ultimately, what got me qualified. I've never been good at the game and I've never claimed to be good at the game either. I'm, I, was, I was fortunate in, in a, a few of the games that I played that I actually managed to win them. But uh, I am grateful that I have because the team of the week has been announced, revealed, shown to us. Um, is it going to let me? That's the question. Click on it through here. No. Brand new team of the week, but we'd rather show you some customization items in our store. Fantastic. Let's go over to Squad Battles, because this is the easiest way to look at it. And you just click View Squad, and there it is. Now, on first glance, banging. But then when you really look at it, Mbappe, take Mbappe out. Awful team of the week. Um, Mbappe is obviously the one that everyone's going to want. Harry Kane will be there for a fair few people to pick up, I'm sure. And Saar, he has a two-star weak foot. He won't even make my bench. He's good, don't get me wrong. He is good, and for anything first owner related, he wouldn't be a bad pickup, but he's not going to get anywhere near the quote-unquote competitive squad. The goalkeeper, by the way, everyone, if if you get him, you should be playing him. Even if you have Edison or Allison, I don't care. Get rid of him and put Martinez in, because that is going to be an, a fantastic goalkeeper. His 84-rated card was phenomenal. The only reason I stopped using it is because Dudek came in. Dudek is actually better, to be fair. But he was brilliant. So I'd imagine his inform is going to be class. The entire bench and reserves are useless fodder. And I say fodder, and I don't even mean like... If you pack Kane, in my opinion anyway, that's great fodder. If you pack Hoffman, decent fodder. If you pack any, apart from Yilmaz, if you pack any of the, the bench or the reserves, it's just a waste of time kind of fodder you know it's going to be an inform you throw into an 82 rated team that requires an inform for an SBC it, it is not a great team of the week at all unfortunately but hey it is what it is EA can't choose who get I mean they do choose who gets team of the week but they don't choose who performs well I just wish they would kind of um I don't know boost them higher I guess the, the Silver Stars looks alright if you're into that sort of thing Gordon from Everton decent pace and dribbling I'm guessing he's got a dribbling boost. Um, I don't think it says what he has, but I'm guessing he's been given that dribbling boost. As far as a silver player goes, decent pace, very good agility, um, dribbling and ball control, and it's only going to go higher again, which is quite nice. Three star, three star is a bit of a shame. Six one though, could be all right, I guess if you know you play silver, but I I don't, so I'm not really that bothered. And we have. Um, we have some packs actually quickly very very quickly before i do for those who are actually interested so look at the record so i played nine games with messi but i also played maybe one or two games of rivals with him as well his record <clears throat> 11 games nine goals six assists and he played uh nine games nine ten eleven no eight games he played eight games from cam and he played uh, three games as a striker he didn't really do an awful lot as a striker. But then when I moved him into Cam, he was everywhere. He was scoring goals. He was getting assists. He was class. Kevin De Bruyne, one goal, one assist. His goal was a finesse shot from outside the area in Rivals. I uh, can't remember what his assist was, but he's all right as a right mid. But David Beckham as a right mid is going to be class. So Hakimi left mid, who works well. I've played him there for nine games or eight games now, and it worked fine. And then David Beckham right mid, pinging those balls forward. It's going to be class. I'm looking forward to it. So, we have qualifying packs, 225Ks and the gold players. I've just done the rear Electrum from one of the SBCs that dropped yesterday, and I'm pretty sure this one dropped today, which is for a small rear gold players pack. So, we're going to open these five packs. I 
I mean, will I open marquee matchups tomorrow in tomorrow's video? Probably not. I'm not sure. We'll have to wait and see. I do have a bit of gameplay to show you as well, so it kind of depends. Um, I might end up just doing a video on Messi because why not? I've got it all recorded. 82 rated. All these non rares will eventually go. I, do I do upgrades with them or do I sell them? All the non rares right now, I'm pretty sure, are selling for like 700, 800 coins. Because people are just doing those SBCs. I might just cash in on it and just sell every tradable uh, non rare that I pick up. Same with the rares, to be honest. I might not do any more because I've got who I want. I don't need them. We'll see. Uh, 25k pack, why not? Let's do a 25k. It's a board. Happy days. German. Left mid. Goosens. It's an 83. It'll go into the 84 rated team for David Beckham. Oh, 283 is not bad. That'll help. And they link together very nicely as well. That's what I'm after now. I just want fodder so I can get David Beckham done faster. That's all I really care about. So Harry Kane would be sensational. Uh, that's not Harry Kane. That is... Uh, Diego Carlos, who I've not seen anyone use this year. I mean, I know obviously now he's outdated, but even then I didn't see anyone, like back at the beginning of the game, didn't see anyone using him. Even though he's got a high defensive work rate, and for a starter card, he would have been quite good. All that goes into the club, it is gutted. I'd be very surprised if I got any duplicates at all. Uh, we'll do the small rare gold. Uh, do I? No, let's do the rare Electrum. Screw it, I've done it now. 82 plus guaranteed. Can we get a walkout, please, EA? Can we get a board, please, EA? Because that would be nice. Shocking. I think I should use this guy. Did I? No, I didn't. Yeah, I did. I did. Oh, we do get a duplicate. Um, it's typical. Three decent silvers in there, but not going to be worth anything just yet. We'll pop them up there. We'll use them for something at some point, I'm sure. And it all comes down to this. I need... Some high-rated fodder. I am going to have to wait for Rival Rewards tomorrow. Oh, yeah, Rival Rewards tomorrow. Forgot about that. Just completed my seventh game today. So there will be a video tomorrow. We'll do rewards. Of course. Uh, Friday, we'll have to see what happens. Maybe I'll do a 6 p.m. to see if they're going to drop a new promo. And on Saturday, I'll probably play all my games. You'll see some gameplay. We'll do what we normally do one on Sunday. There will be Foot Champs Rewards. I'm hoping that on Monday, then, I will be able to complete David Beckham. It kind of depends. I could pay to, to complete him. I know I can. I'm just going to wait till I get the fodder. Can we get any useful fodder here, please? Guaranteed 82. It's a board. It's not a walkout, unfortunately. It's going to be Cavani, 85. I wanted high-rated fodder. It's high-ish. I think it's only about 5Ks worth, but it's fine. Any 83s, 84s? 84. Don't mind if I do. Ginter in there as well. So that will help towards the 84-rated team. I could probably go and do that right now, actually, the 84-rated team. We are going to end on three 82 plus dribbling player packs to try and give me a little bit more fodder to put into David Beckham. I am very close to the 84 rated team. I just need like one or two little plays just to get the chemistry. I could buy them, not a problem, but I still got the 87 rated team to do so. I'm in no rush. If I can get something decent out of these, that would be class. Looking for Mbappe, obviously. But um, just some reasonably high-rated fodder. A couple of 85s or something. A board. That'll do. That'll do. French. Left mid. Lamar. I hate this guy with a passion. He he drives me mad. He is everywhere. In every pack I open, there he is. Now, the problem with him is he's an untradeable duplicate. So, you know what that means? We go build another one. Pop him into the club. And we go again and pack another Lamar, no doubt. <laughs> Please don't be Lamar. It's not a board, so it's not Lamar. It's going to be Belgian right wing. Uh, Doc Doku? Hey, it's Doku. Don't know why I'm excited. I just guessed it, so there we go. Um, second one. Technically the third one, I guess. And we get nothing. I'm not a big fan of any of them apart from the passing ones. The passing ones are the only ones that have been good. He might be an untradeable. No, he's not. Uh, yeah, the passing ones for me, the only ones that have been good. They are just too expensive for me to do right now. I probably would have been able to do one of them. We might end on one. I was tempted to sell all the cards, but, you know, where's the fun in that? You've got to have a, got to have a bit of a gamble. This could potentially be the last pack of the video. It is nothing. Can't end on that. Got to go do a passing one to finish it off because you never know. And if this is an untradeable duplicate, which it is, you have to build another one. 
regardless of what we get in this pack we're going to call it a day tomorrow we'll have rewards and then i will probably end up doing a bunch more of these upgrades before they finally leave us uh, I'm kind of hoping they do this again, but with player picks, that would be phenomenal. Maybe even make them a little bit more expensive because obviously you get to choose the player you want. The passing ones for me have all been the best. This is going to be an absolute trash one. Or we'll pack Messi again just for banter. But I guess if we do that, we will probably go and complete David Beckham. But um, yeah, if you have enjoyed it, do me a favor and hit the like button. If you've done any of these recently, feel free to let me know what you've got in them. We do get a board. I tell you, it's just the best one to do hate this guy. He's in every pack I open. He is. I'm not doing another one. We're going to end on Lamar. I can't believe I actually just said that, but um, prove to you that he's in every other pack that you open. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new, of course, and until the next time, goodbye.